Hi everyone, how are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to show you amazing photos that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by displaying these photos. But that's the whole point. These photos are proof that a small occult elite of erased and the history to fit their narrative. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. In Sam Juan, which means three whale rocks, according to the mainstream science, it's a 75 million year old rock formation, laying majestically out in the forest. Judging by the looks of the megalithic structures, it seems like the mountains are just petrified ancient trees that were cut down and left there. This is a view of these giant tree stumps from a biblical perspective as well. The evidence pointing to these large mountains actually being giant petrified tree stumps. Not only do they look just like tree stumps, but they exhibit characteristics only found in biological organisms and trees. Old World, San Francisco Early 1900s I wish I could walk around that amazing building. The greatest inventor of our time and beyond, Nikola Tesla, sent a last message to his mother, and I quote, All these years that I had spent in the service of mankind brought me nothing but insults and humiliation. These structures are immersed in the deep water off the coast of Cuba and were discovered by Canadian and Cuban researchers in 2001. They are estimating they are around 6,000 years old. Some structures within the complex may be as long as 400 meters wide and as high as 40 meters. Look at these two pictures. Very interesting, isn't it? This old photograph shows the majestic luminous column that illuminated the electrical building at the Chicago World's Fair, 1893. The structure included thousands of incandescent light bulbs. In 1853, the famous artist, Ivy organized excavations of burial grounds near the Crimea. In one of them, this unusual artifact, 2500 years old, was found. When the jewelers studied the earrings, it became clear that the artifact was unique. Not a single jeweler in the 19th century was able to recreate it, since the small size and detailing of the product are at the highest level. Maybe technology wasn't really invented during Industrial Revolution. Maybe electricity and technology existed all along, coming all the way from the ancient world. It's possible that human civilizations have been advanced technologically and scientifically, and that something happened to them, like ancient wars, during which ancient advanced weapons of mass destruction were used, as well as different cataclysms that forced advanced human civilizations to live primitively again for a time, until technology and electricity re-emerged again. I'm not saying this is certain and undeniable truth. I'm just entertaining the possibility of it. This artifact found in South America depicts a hybrid of something like an animal and machine. It's possible that the primitive populations who for the first time saw technology didn't understand what they were looking at, and the only way they could depict what they saw was showing it in the form of an animal. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learn something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. One of these, we are told, was built in 1828, the other in 432 BC, 2260 years apart. Conveniently, there weren't any cameras around from the time to testify to such construction dates. Makes you wonder, what kind of mental trap have they created, 
where they have managed to succeed in persuading the population that these two structures were built by two different cultures from two different time periods. If the bottom image is to be believed to be 2452 years old because of its poor state of condition, then how does that justification not also apply to the ruins of buildings from the Second World War which look not a day over a thousand years old from their damage? Lima, Peru. Fantastic how the same architecture found in Asia can be discovered as far as in South America. Take a look at the swords in these photos. It seems too big for a normal person to swing. The hypogeum of Hal Safliani in Malta is believed to be the oldest prehistoric underground temple in the world. The subterranean structure is shrouded in mystery, from the discovery of elongated skulls to stories of paranormal phenomena. But the characteristic that has been attracting experts is the acoustic properties found within a unique chamber carved out of solid limestone and demonstrating incredible acoustic properties. According to William Arthur Griffiths, who wrote Malta and its recently discovered prehistoric temples, a word spoken in the oracle room is magnified a hundredfold and is audible throughout the entire structure. It is said that standing in the hypogeum is like being inside a giant bell. At certain pitches, one feels the sound vibrating in bone and tissue as much as hearing it in the ear. By the way, any literature on these images would be appreciated. The photo shows two different places, the Germans' Winger Park in Dresden and the Japanese Porcelain Park in Narita. The official version, in gratitude for the fact that the Japanese created such wonderful ceramics and supplied it to Europe, the Japanese decided to build themselves a park in the style of the 17th century. Logical decision. You cannot praise yourself, no one will praise. There are some intricate details to be spotted in some of these photographs in relation to our fake history. As much as I would love to draw your attention to them, I will save that for another time. For now, just admire the photography of the early new world that has been preserved. This is truly beautiful. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job all is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This Everything Inside Me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.